But basically, when, when you're able to do this and you, you put it either over insulation, this is what you get. Not only are you going to reduce your utility bills anywhere from 20 to 40 percent, but you equalize out the temperature in the home from wall to wall and from ceiling to floor, it'll hold it within two degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty even. Now, for, for cold climates like you guys are in, if you, it's a great thing to put under the floor, especially if you have a heated floor like Derek has here, because you're going to directionally control the heat right back up. You're not going into the, your crawl space. It's, 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 it's coming up. But uh, on floors like this, without the heated floor on, the floor it will be within two degrees. And you can walk on it without your, you know, having shoes or socks on, and it's, it's like a warm floor. So it's it's a pretty big deal. Some of the first people that bought this, these products were in Colorado, and the guy calls me up and he says, you know what, I have a granite floor. He says every morning when I go to make my coffee, you know, I have to put on my slippers, and he says the floor is like a piece of, you know, ice. He says I don't do that anymore. He just couldn't believe it. So those are. Those are one way, one great way that uh, uh, to utilize a product. Now, as you see behind you here, and, and, uh, Derek has uh, done this nice little demonstration of, of, of using this on the outside with your rain screen to show you how this can be put into new construction. And if you go to the other side, uh, he can show you, you can see how it could be put into you know, renovating buildings and, and with the other side, the material always has to go to the outside because not only is this a tremendous reflector and insulation, but it's a perfect vapor barrier, okay? Now, on the other side, whenever you guys get a chance to look at it, this would be the way you'd put it in. You would, you'd, you would come over all your studs and then you pack your fiberglass against it. And here, here's the, the, the great thing about that. You know, as, as you have your fiberglass or your cellulose or your rock wool or whatever you have in the ceiling, as your heat rises, you're trapping it, just like we did here in the fiberglass, and it's coming through. When it hits that, it constantly re-radiates back into the, the room. 80% of your heat gain and loss is in your attic deck, okay? I mean, you can put it in the walls, and it makes a big difference, you know, to that degree, but... 80% of your heat gain and losses is, is in the attic, so if you can just put it in the attic, you control everything. Now, because it breathes, it's, it's not where we, we talked earlier about uh, 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 having to have fresh air exchanges. It's not that tight, okay? It's not like spraying foam in, so it, it, it actually will breathe. And we've never really had any of the the mold or mildew or any of those issues that you know associated with foams or or anything like that and I know that you know in talking with the one of the builders here today uh, that's uh, that's a big issue you know, up here and if you don't you put a fresh air exchange in it and if you don't use the fresh air exchange it's still not going to do you any good so in, in whether you do it in in this kind of construction or in uh, uh, metal buildings, we actually have guys that, that do the same type of, of heating that Derek has on the floor here, but instead of using a, a mat, they use hot water and by, by uh, uh, encapsulating the, the building, these are garages that these guys build. Again, the, the temperature is, is that even, even on a 20-foot ceiling. I mean, I've gone all the way up on a forklift. I have a digital fluke thermometer. I've measured that temperature. It's still within two degrees. So for people that are working on concrete or different areas like that, you know, as you get to be older, standing on concrete all day long, it'll just, you know, you know, kick the life out of you. And to be able to lay any place on a floor or stand on it and not be cold, that's a great thing. It's a real great thing. 